lymphatic system in Latin systema lymphaticum is the subsystem of cardiovascular circulatory system. Lymphatic system represents a complex of lymphatic pathways from the lymphatic capillaries to the thoracic duct, including the lymph flow pathways inside the lymph nodes in which lymph is located and circulates. You see as a background an image of the lymphatic system of the whole body from Pirogov's interactive anatomical atlas. The lymphatic system maintains the consistency of the internal environment, water protein balance, by drainage activity. This is why the image of the lymphatic system looks like a collection of streams and channels that permeate our entire body. Now, what is lymph? Lymph is a colorless, watery substance similar to blood plasma that circulates throughout the lymphatic system. Lymph contains cells called lymphocytes. Lymph is formed when the interstitial fluid, the fluid which lies in the interstitials of all body tissues, is collected through lymph capillaries. Lymph is then transported through larger lymphatic vessels to lymph nodes where it is cleaned by lymphocytes before emptying ultimately into the right or the left venous angle where it mixes back with the blood. Lymph transports dead cells, bacteria and toxins to the lymph nodes where all the bacteria, dead cells and toxins are filtered from the lymph. Then the lymph returns to the bloodstream once filtered. Functions of lymphatic system. First function is supplementary to the veins, drainage of the tissues. It conducts lymph from the tissues it means that the lymphatic system conducts lymph from the tissues into the venous bed. Second is barrier function, rendering harmless foreign particles and bacteria. And third is negative function. Lymphatic vessels and nodes spread metastatic cells to, of malignant tumors. Difference between blood circulatory system and lymphatic system. Unlike the circulatory system, the lymphatic system is one and open. It means distal part of lymphatic system is closed, but proximal part is open and empty to the large venous trunks. Second, the lymphatic system doesn't have a central pump. The lymph circulating in it moves slowly and under slight pressure. Structural composition of the lymphatic system. We can say lymphatic system consists of lymphatic bed that means complex of all lymphatic vessels and lymphoid organs. So we can say that a small equation, lymphatic system equal lymphatic bed plus lymphoid organs. Now lymphoid organs. First of all, thymus its central lymphoid organ, then most large lymphoid organ spleen, 
then a group of tonsils, first of all, adenoids, lingual tonsil and palatine tonsils. Now, large group of lymph nodes. Once again, we see an image from the Pyrogoth's interactive anatomical atlas of the lymph nodes of our body are depicted here. Interestingly, the cuboid and papilital lymph nodes are located most distantly on the extremities. This means that we will not find a single lymph node more distally than these locations. There are no lymph nodes on the foot, leg, forearm and hand. At the same time, lymph nodes on the head, neck and trunk are located in large numbers. Next group of lymphoid organs are associated with mucose sheet. The folliculi lymphatici solitari in Latin, which are located in the mucous membrane of any locations. Here are the folliculi lymphatici solitari. And also there are folliculi lymphatici aggregati or pears patches located only in the ileum. Here it is. Folliculus lymphaticus aggregatus as a complex of single lymphatic follicles. And at last, appendix which could be called in nest intestinal tonsil. Now structural composition of the lymphatic bed. We can say lymphatic bed consists of several parts or several components. First of all, lymphatic capillaries. They are depicted here as a yellow spots in the most peripheral parts of our body. Second is lymphatic vessels of various diameters. Here they are. Third component is lymph nodes. Fourth component is lymphatic collectors of trunks. Here they are. Truncus lumbalis. Here it is. Truncus lumbalis dexter. And truncus lumbalis sinister. Right and left. Truncus intestinalis. Here it is. Truncus broncha mediastinalis. Here it is. Right and left. Truncus subclavius. Here it is. Truncus subclavius dexter. From right side. And similar on the left side. And truncus jugularis. Here it is. Truncus jugularis dexter. Truncus jugularis sinistra. And the last component, main lymphatic ducts, ductus thoracicus and ductus lymphaticus dexter, ductus thoracicus. Here it is, the most large lymphatic vessel in our body and quite small ductus lymphaticus dexter, which has only two or three centimeters 
of lymph. Structural features of lymphatic capillaries. First of all, lymphatic capillaries start blindly. They are closed at one end. We can see here multiple lymphatic capillaries of green color in the interstitial space between the blood capillaries. We see that they are closed at one side and seem to be immersed in the interstitial space. In comparison, blood capillaries are open on both sides and are connected to arterioles and venules. Next feature, lymphatic capillaries have larger than blood capillaries diameter, from 20 to 200 micrometers. They do not fall in off due to slim filaments. This is schematic representation of an electronogram of a lymphatic capillary in cross section. We can see that it gapes wide, it does not fall off, it has an open lumen. This is due to outer surface of the endothelial cells forming the capillary wall have bundles of microfibers, SF, slim filaments, which radiate outward, spreading in the interstitial connective tissue. Lymph capillaries have wide endothelial gaps. That's why proteins can penetrate through the wall along the interstitial fluid enters the capillary. This diagram shows a lymphatic capillary stretched due to slim filaments. Through endothelial gaps, liquid penetrates from the interstitial space inside the capillary along with protein molecules. And the last feature, lymphatic capillaries are absent in cartilage, placenta, brain and spleen. The difference between lymphatic vessels and lymphatic capillaries. Lymphatic vessels have valves. Lymphatic vessels consist of lymphangiomes, the structural and functional units of lymphatic bed, the part of lymphatic vessel between two valves. Lymph flow factors or while lymph flows against of gravity gradient. First reason is so-called vis a tergo. This Latin term means force from behind, pressure of new portion of absorbed lymph inside of lymph capillaries and vessels. Second, valves of the lymphatic vessels, which prevent reverse flow of the lymph flow. Pulsating effect of adjacent arteries. So-called passive lymphatic heart, contraction of the diaphragm in the area of cisterna heli. and skeletal muscle contraction. Breathing movements of the lung and suction effect of venous blood in venous angles. 